Hey everybody, hope you're having a great and wonderful day. I am back. This is going to be the last one of 2022 for me. Um, I don't think I have anything else coming out that I am really looking forward to buying. Um, I, I don't think so. <laughs> this is probably going to be it. Um, and I wasn't even going to do this one. Um, I, I really was on the fence. I was either going to buy uh, possibly some, uh, some of these boxes here from uh, Target.com, but I kind of passed. I was waiting maybe for an update um, hobby box because they're in hobby box uh, form this year. And then I was really like, I don't know about the cost of the money. I don't even know if I want to do it. Um, but today was out doing a little bit of Christmas shopping and uh, finishing up there. And I walked into my Target and they have not restocked in, I feel like, a year. And so I, but I always walk by, I think maybe I saw some Allen and Ginter this year, um, but I walked by and they had like 10 of these boxes of Topps Chrome update series. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I, I can't pass them by. I'm going to go ahead and buy two, save myself about 50 or 60 bucks on the hobby box. Um, but I'm not expecting much. I, I don't think that there's anything that I truly um, probably get less value back from than Chrome products. I, I don't really know why. Either I'm just continuously get bad boxes or there's just not as much as everybody loves Chrome. Everybody loves Chrome either rookies or parallels and maybe it's just not what I get. But um, out of almost any product, it's this right here. So just thought I'd grab two, have some fun with it. Do our last video here, probably of 2022. Um, kind of wrap it, put a bow on it, and then I'm going to enjoy Christmas and the New Year's. And uh, so I thought I'd bring this to you. Here we go. Let's do 20. These are these mega boxes right here. 2022 Tops Update Series. Uh, kind of uh, the final, kind of final, kind of Tops Chrome um, thing that they have. This has 10 packs for cards per pack so if we do the simple math which i need to do simple math we've got 40 cards in here uh this was uh 49.99 um and then i got about 250 off or so uh because of my target card uh, red card uh 250 per box um so brought it down a little bit more but um uh, looking at it a little bit over a dollar a card uh for these and we shall see. I Now, I thought it was just going to be the hobby box. I was going to have a purple one in each one, um, which is kind of one of the reasons I was kind of leaning towards a hobby box. But then I saw some openings of these, and they do have a purple um, in one in each pack. So, kind of uh, made me lean back towards this. And so, we shall see. There's our purple at the bottom. Uh, but everything looks great in Chrome. It really does. Um, love Chrome. Love Tops Chrome. Um, every card. There's a nice Bryson Stott Generation Now. And then a Tony Romero uh, Purple is our first purple. So we've kind of seen where most of the big free agents are going. There's a nice Stephen Kwan. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was maybe a... a um, oh, why can't I think now? I'm getting over a cold, and so I'm a little bit still like this is my last, hopefully my last day of kind of dealing with it, so if you can kind of hear it in my voice. But that was like an image variation, but it is not. It's just his rookie debut. But a double Quan, um, definitely a Guardians-type pack because our uh, purple is a Richie Palacios, I would say. Looks like probably the, yes, most of the free agents are signed. There's not a ton more out there. I mean, there is a smaller, but of the big ones, they are definitely signed up. That's a cool win. All-Star game. Nice refractor. Does it say refractor on there? It doesn't look like it, but it definitely is a refractor. And then a Pinto. And then I think that uh, the next kind of thing that's going to start happening here um, after the uh, New Year's is going to be uh, definitely all the trades that are going to be happening. People are going to be kind of rounding out their teams. And we got some nice one here. Nice purple rookie debut of Jeremy Pena. It was taken not only baseball by storm, but uh, definitely uh, the baseball card um, hobby by Storm. Uh, his cards are definitely ones that people want. 
Uh, speaking of Pena, there's his generation now right there. Very, very cool. And then a nice purple Elliot Ramos from the Giants. Take that one right there. Let's say it's probably like Julio. He's definitely, obviously, heads above everybody else in the in the hobby. I think Pena, Witt, uh, Franco still to some um, to some degree um, is definitely still a good one. Um, he's uh, calmed down a little bit, and then we got a Rylan Bannon. But then we're going to start all over again there in 2023. It'll be all about another group of players. It'll be the Rushman. There's Ron Doan signed that big uh, six-year deal with the Yankees. Um, but it'll be Rushman. It'll be, um, I think Nolan Gorman's going to have a card, uh, being a Cardinal fan. Uh, nice George Brett and a Hummel. Purple. But it'll be, uh, um, you know, Nolan have a card. I know I'm blanking on a couple of definitely some of the other rookies um, but uh, we'll start all over again and and there'll be new rookies to collect and then there'll be breakout rookies by uh, the time update comes out nice Walsh oh we got us a color has a gold probably to 50 I would say yes 50 right there of uh, not the player that we want in our uh, <laughs> uh, Garcia I was really uh, stumbled and uh Lost a lot of production there since he's been with Miami. And then a Miranda uh, rookie debut. Looks like an infielder there for the um, the Twins. Like I said, I am uh, <laughs> definitely struggling this uh, week. I um, started feeling bad Saturday and Sunday. And then, you know, finally got uh, started feeling a little bit better on um Nice show, hey. A nice hunter green. Definitely a great pitcher. Started feeling better on um, yesterday and then woke up today and I'm I'm almost there. I'm, I'm almost done. So at least it got done before Christmas and not going to happen through Christmas. I've got family coming in and definitely wanted to see them. So um, if I was going to get sick, I'm glad it happened this past weekend. There was the San Francisco guy, 13 year. Um, contract and then Logan Webb purple and that is the end of the first box let's take a look at the second box so kind of like I said at the beginning not a lot to write home about on um, definitely uh, not expecting much out of this so anything that comes out of this is going to be a bonus for me and we've got another one stuck down there at the bottom so it'd be nice to hit a color of like one of the big rookies, uh, either the purple or um, definitely one of the numbered ones. So it'd be nice. It'd be a big, huge bonus here with uh, with these cards to kind of end out 2022. Baez, a Vera, and then Lucius Fox in the purple. And the purples do look really, really nice. I, I really like, I mean, anytime you kind of add color to a chrome, it definitely is uh, uh, good. There's Max Scherzer. Oh, we got an auto. Here we go. Nice. And it's a nice veteran player. Uh, nice Salvador Perez. Um, great catcher for the, pa uh, the Padres, the, the Royals. And uh, really cool. Uh, not an autograph or anything like that. It is a sticker auto, but uh, definitely nice refractor autograph of Perez which you know you don't usually want to uh, find those in those boxes so we'll take it very nice and then we got us a Bryce Elder there on the back is our purple so very cool don't get a like I said you don't get a lot of those autographs um, I don't know if I've ever pulled an autograph from one of these uh, retail boxes Peterson, we got us a nice O'Neill Cruz generation now, and then a Christian Pache, who was what last year or two years ago was one of those big, huge rookies that everybody uh, was looking at and collecting. And uh, he has not turned out to be the guy, but there's you know, careers are really long, and you know, maybe he will pull it back around. I know he's very fast, very good defensively. 
been trying to make it through here <laughs> with my runny nose here and not uh, be making a lot of noise. Got a Yastrzemski, and then we got a Jan Gomes there is our purple. It's Volante purple there on the back from St. Louis Cardinals, Naquan, Tony Gosselin, and then there's that rookie card, Palante of purple. I will take it. We got about four more packs left, so this won't be too long. This will go by pretty quickly. Got Sanchez, Fetty, and I love those National City Connect jerseys. They're so awesome. Uh, Freddie Freeman, All-Star Game, Refractor, and then a Corey Kluber, Purple. You got a Kikuchi, Mackenzie Gore back in his Padres uniform, not with his Nationals uh, uniform. And uh, you got a Reed Detmers rookie debut, purple. Last two packs, and then we'll get out of here. Yeah, Diego Lo. Uh, nice Bobby Witt Jr. Nice. The generation now has been really good. On some of those top rookies, there's George Kirby Purple. And our last pack. So thank you, everybody, for checking this out, uh, hanging out with me for just a little bit under 12 minutes or so. Nice. Oh, there we go. We got a nice Bobby Witt Jr. there. Some last pack magic. <laughs> nice uh, Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card. And then our purple is a Nick Plummer rookie card. Uh, but definitely a nice ending to our um, packs there. But we had some success. We had a purple, our yellow or gold 50. And then we did pull an auto of Salvador Perez. So that's kind of it. Lots of purples, lots of nice generation nows um, that we got. Um, we got a Bobby Witt. I know we got an Ordo Orta. O'Neill Cruz. Everybody, please forgive me. I'm like I said, I'm recovering. But uh, everybody, have a great Christmas. Have a great New Year's. Um, everybody, be good to each other, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully next year. All right. See you later. Bye.